This morning and tell him he reigns forever in our lives. Let magnify him, let adore him, let give him praise. Let declare that he reigns forever over all. Wherever he may be, declare his awesomeness, declare his mightiness, declare his gloriousness, declare the fact that he reigns forever. There is not we compare to him, he is the almighty God. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnifying brethren and giving praise. Thank you because he reigns forever. He is the one that sitteth in the heavens above all earth. He is great and is mighty. 
is high and lifted up. The one that is high and lifted up, the everlasting Father, give him praise and magnify him. Let us exalt him because he reigns. Thank you because it's good. Thank you because it's great. Thank you because there is not to be compared to him. Hallelujah because it's good. Hallelujah to you, Father, because you are great. Hallelujah to you because there is not to be compared to you, Father. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you reign. Hallelujah, our God reign forever in the mighty name of Jesus. He reigns in covenant. He reigns in power. He reigns in majesty. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. He reigns because he's a covenant-keeping God. He never failed his own covenant. Thank him for bringing us safely to this new month, the month of sure covenant. Glory to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that we thank because you know we lead this a month of sure covenant. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because your covenant never fail. Your words never fail. Your promises never fail. Your gloriousness never fail. Your covenant never fail. You are the almighty God. Glory to you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you that day. We magnify your holy name. We bless you. We honor you. We say thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah to you alone in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory to your name forever in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed are thou, glorious are thou. In majesty you reign. In gloriousness you reign. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the almighty Father, you are the King of glory. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to you, Father, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to you. Please worship him and magnify his name. Glorious is his name. Mighty is his work. Faithful is he forever. He never changed. He never faltered. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because to you are covenant. To you, our sure covenant. You never fail. Oh, thank you because you are wonderful. Blessed be your name. Thank you because in our faithfulness, you remain faithful. In our going up and down, you remain faithful. You never go anywhere. You are always stable. You are always sure. We may go, we may come. You are always there. Thank you because you are faithful. The same God yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus, the same forever. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. You never change. Nothing changes you. You never go on holiday. You are never tired. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in Jesus' mighty name. We are very grateful for that. We are very grateful. We are very, very grateful. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We are very grateful, Lord, for what you are doing. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Thank for those you are doing in our life and our family. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, men may change. Government may change. Situation may change. Laws and rules may change. Policy may change. Some be favorable, many are not favorable, but God never change. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because we never change. And because we never change, we know our life is not depending on any man policy. Our economy is not depending on the nation's court policy. It is dependent on you alone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. Glory to you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are given. Give you thanks. We give you all that glory. We give you all honor. We give you all that glory. We give you all honor. All honor. We give you all that glory. Yes, peace, Lord. We give you all honor. We give you all that glory. We give you honor, praise.
praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. If you hear news from afar, you know that the world is in trouble. But in our home, we have peace. In our community, we have peace. In our nation, we have peace. Despite all the bad news we hear, we only read them in news or hear them on radios. But in our community and our nation, and most importantly, in our dwelling places, we have peace. Can you just lift up our hands to heaven and start up say thank you? Because yeah. hitherto you have helped us. Hitherto you have blessed us with your peace. Thank you for your peace, O oh Lord. It's because we have we have peace, we are here this morning. Oh, thank you for your peace in all our homes, for your peace in all our body, for your peace in every part of our body, for your peace in every part of our home, for your peace in our marriages, for your peace in our children, for your peace in our heads, for your peace in our work, for your peace in our spiritual lives. We are not running after scatter looking for help or solution. For your peace in us, thank you, Holy Spirit for putting your peace in our mind, knowing fully that whatever you did not do, nobody else will do it. And we put our rest and confidence in you. Thank for the peace in our soul, for the peace in our mind. Thank for the peace in our community and for the peace in our nation. Only with our hearing, we are hearing the word of the wicked. Thank because you have given us peace. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. So you be praised forever in Jesus' name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You are facing our enemy, all the nation that put us in trouble, and all the persons that put us in trouble, that exploited our simplicity. One by one, you are visiting them, and they are never having peace. Thank you because of this. Blessed be your name. For the battle you are fighting on our behalf, for the wars and the battle you are fighting on our behalf, Known and unknown, you are giving us victory in all our battles. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the victory known and for the victory unknown. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In our sleep, you give us victory. In our homes, you are giving us victory. Glory to you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Hallelujah to you alone in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to you, glory to you, glory to you, glory to you, glory to your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for victory known and victory unknown. Blessed be your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Please worship him. Magnify his name. Let your ability unto him and thank you because he that to you have helped us. Thank you because he brought us this far. He didn't bring God this far to disgrace us. He didn't bring God this far to abandon us. He didn't bring God this far to leave us alone. He brought all this far that he might help us. He brought all this far that he might take us to a place only him and propose now his mind for us. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank him and give him praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. You know, Jesus was telling to man, he said, Blessed are those that believe, even when. They have not seen. I know not all our prayer requests have been answered. I know not everything we have asked, we have received, but we believe we will receive them because our God don't fail. As long as we put our trust in Him, we trust Him, we wait on Him, we put our confidence in Him, we are not running up and down looking for help where there are no helps. Just trust God because we know our God is our help and our strength to her in the days of need. He said, Come unto me. All you that labor and heavy laden. He said in that place, say, Come, approach me with boldness and receive grace for help in time of need. Can we just tell you thank God for grace you have given to us in all our times of need? We bless your name. In all our prayer requests, you have not even received answer to. We thank you because we have received grace to help already. You know your grace is for us. Thank you because you don't allow the enemy to exploit us or to disgrace us or to even joke and um, use our matter for laughing matters. Thank you because you didn't, you didn't give the enemy power to laugh over us. You silence their mouths. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to thank God for victory over our dead. I want to just share like a testimony to you this morning. And I know it's the same in all our homes. Many of the time, don't know that just overnight, many of us have gotten a lot of victory we are never even thinking of. Surgery has been done successful, and many victory has been done in many, many ways. Many times we have healing in our home. We don't even know that God is involved. Tell that thing for the victory over death, victory over sickness, victory over pain, victory over circumstances and, and situations inspired by the enemies, victory in all our homes, victory in all our families, victory for friends, victory for acquaintances, victory for our siblings, victory for our children, victory in all our ways, victory and safekeeping from our accidents, safe keeping from death, safe keeping from the wickedness of the wicked. We say, blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Thank for victory in the place of prayer as well, for granting us utterances each time we meet like this. We know this morning again, you are already granting us utterances. Blessed be your name for victory in prayer, utterances in prayer, victory over death, victory over sickness, victory over pain, victory over the attack of the enemies, victory over the situation and circumstances, victory in all ways, victory in the front, victory in the back, victory in the left on the right, victory underneath us, on the ground we dwell, we, we walk on, and victory over us, over the heavens, there is victory. There's a cloud of victory already falling rain over us. We say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We can smell victory. We can breathe victory. We can see victory. We can hear the sound of victory because you are giving us victory on our side. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to your name forever, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It's written in Isaiah 28, verse 18. I think you should begin from there. I pray, God, Father, you give us all trans this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everyone at the sound of my voice this morning, I pray for utterances for you. Amen. Utterance, the Bible says you don't know how to pray as we ought to. But the spirit that says all things, the spirit of man, and the spirit of God that searches the spirit of the heart of God, know how and what you should pray about. And therefore, we depend on that spirit this morning to guide our utterance. Amen. And our utterances in the place of prayer now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Receive utterances. Amen. Receive ability to speak the mind of God. Amen. For you and for your household now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say it again as a priest. I say receive all trans this morning. Amen. And the ability to speak the mind of God, the heart of God. For you and for your household in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And then you have victory permanent and irreversible in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 28, verse 18 say, And your covenant with death shall be this and all. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. Say it personally, my covenant with death shall be dishonored. And all form of agreement with grave shall not stand in Jesus' mighty name. Say it again, my covenant with death shall dis are dishonored. And all whom have agreement with grave shall not stand in Jesus' mighty name. So go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every agreement with death starvation and sicknesses or diseases whatever name they are called i destroy every agreement with death in the mighty name of jesus sudden death gradual death in form of starvation gradual death in form of sicknesses gradual death in form of diseases form of agreement with death and a covenant with calamity and hell i say they shall not stand in the mighty name of jesus for it is written my covenant with death Shall, shall be this and all, and my agreement with the grave shall not stand. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, every known or non covenant, every active or active covenant with death, they are disannulled in the mighty name of Jesus, and every agreement with her shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Agreement in the place of dream, agreement in the place of vision, agreement in the place of utterances, agreement in any form known and unknown that are trying to come in place they are disannulled they shall not stand in the mighty name of jesus i said myself the word of god that say every covenant with death shall not disannulled and every agreement with her shall not stand 
in any form they are coming, in form of sickness, in form of starvation, in form of death, gradual or sudden, I say they shall not stand in Jesus' mighty name. There shall not be accident, there shall not be home accident or foreign or outside accident, or form of calamity, no room for calamity in our dwelling place in Jesus' mighty name. For it is written, only the sound of joy shall be here from the tabernacle of the righteous. By the grace of God, and um, righteousness, righteousness in Jesus Christ. Therefore, only the sound of joy shall be here in my tabernacle. Only the sound of joy shall be here in our tabernacle in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Just we are just said and said, only the shadow of joy shall be here in our tabernacle because our righteousness is in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I declare for yourself, declare for yourself, declare for myself, I declare myself, say in the mighty name of Jesus, only the sound of joy shall be here in my tabernacle in the mighty name of Jesus, in my body as a tabernacle, in my house as my tabernacle, we are in dwelling as my tabernacle, only the sound of joy shall be heard in the mighty name of Jesus, only the sound of joy shall be heard in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We pray for one of our grandma that just sent a prayer request this morning. He said she just woke up with an eye infection that the Lord will send for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. On the left side of the left of the eye of the eyes. For me, I put my hand on that left, left side now, and I say healing in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and pray for them for mommy that God will send for healing right now to that left side of the eye and all that eye too. Healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever may be the cause of that infection, we rebuke that cause in Jesus' mighty name. We say, I be alive in Jesus' mighty name. I be alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Both left and, and right eye be alive and okay now in Jesus' mighty name. We speak head that go to that eye. The Bible says, By his strength, I am here. And it is written, I will send you cure and head. I send cure to that eyes, left and right. And I say healing to that body in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be head right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Permanent cure. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let the people our children on a holiday that God will preside at this period in Jesus' mighty name. That uh, some are yet to be on holiday, but they be this week by God's grace or week that is coming. That's uh, those are on holiday and those that will be joining them soon. That God will keep all of them safe in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. God will preserve them. Some will travel, some will stay at home. Whatever the case may be, God will preserve them all in Jesus' mighty name. God will preserve them and help them in the mighty name of Jesus. God will preserve them and help them in Jesus' mighty name. There will not be any report in the mighty name of Jesus. Not be any report by God's grace in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I don't know how I say this, I just heard it from my spirit. If your child is below 10 years old, don't take him on holiday where you are not, please. That's the instruction to tell you. That's the instruction I just had now in my spirit. I'm telling you. If your child is below 10 years old, don't take him or her on any holiday where you will not be. Not with grandma, not with grandpa, if you are not there. Not with anybody if you are not there. That's the instruction I'm just had to tell you. Please, if your child is below 10 years old, don't take him or her on holiday, not with grandma, not with grandpa, not with anybody. Once you are not there, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, I want to pray for all our men and women this period that God will preserve us and keep us safe as we have gradually on to the end in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody with, an, with a particular with a perennial prayer request, perennial in the sense that you've been praying this prayer for years and it's not being answered. All the answers have, have, have been answered, but they are not having it physically. Either those are seeking instructions for foot of the womb, or job, or set to home, whatever the requests are that are becoming perennial. That God in His mercy we are to them this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's a month of our short covenant, and it's a month of our anniversary. That God we are to all our requests in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pending request, either pending in term of fruit of the womb, either pending in time of um, Facilities that you are trusting God, personal house or dwelling, or job or promotions, or whatever the case may be, that brethren have been praying about, a sister or a brother have been praying about, a mother or a father have been praying about, 
for years now, and I see the more they pray, the more it's delay. This month of August, this month of covenant, the God of covenant Himself, He arise on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus, our God, the covenant keeping God. We arise and remember covenant on all these prayer requests in the mighty name of Jesus. He said the barren shall be mother of children. He said the single shall be given home. They be established in their homes. He said the jobless should not, the one that not work should not eat. Therefore, men should work that they might eat. The one that are trusting God for health, he has said by his strength we hear. The covenant keeping God will remember his covenant in this month, or sure covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone trusting God, believing God, for whatever it may be, God one by one will visit them and will do something new in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. If we send surprises their way in Jesus' mighty name, there shall be beautiful surprises in all our homes and family in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be beautiful surprises in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that perennially sick, they are always falling sick. Today they are whole, tomorrow they are sick. This month of August, they shall enjoy good health in Jesus' mighty name. Beyond what they have enjoyed so far in the last eight months, beyond what they have enjoyed so far in the last, I mean, seven that months that are gone now, beyond what they have enjoyed in the last years, this month of August and for the rest of this year, everyone that are trusting God for good health shall enjoy it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, you are a covenant keeping God and you always keep me your covenant. I pray for us men that trust in you for whatever it may be. Excuse me. Father, I pray one by one you visit them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everybody hearing me now, you know what you are trusting God for years now. And you are at the point even saying, God is in your hands now. And indeed, it's in his hand. And because a covenant keeping God, he will remember his covenant for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The barren will keep children. Amen. The single one will have homes. Amen. Those that are trusting God for promotion or job will be surprised. Amen. In every way, in every form that we are trusting God, especially at this time, one by one, heaven will remember you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Those that are believing God for a particular part of their body and say, God, when will this healing come? Healing has come now, sir. There is healing now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we put our trust in God, you will not be disappointed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says that put their trust in Him shall never be ashamed. Because you trust Him and you believe Him, you will not be ashamed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But I say it again because you trust Him and you believe Him, you will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Quickly, I'm to pray for peace in this month that God will grant us peace as a nation. <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus, we may pray, pray for yourself that God, please grant me peace this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, peace within, peace without, peace in all I do in Jesus' mighty name. Pray that God will grant you peace this month in Jesus' mighty name. Peace for your children. Peace for your family, peace in your marriage, peace between you and your spouse, peace in your body, peace in your head, peace in your going out and your coming in. That God will remember the covenant of peace and do for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For us, the covenant of life and of peace. God will give you peace this month in Jesus' mighty name. It's a month of sure covenant. The covenant of peace run about. I will enjoy this month in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> Peace in my going out and my coming, peace in my body, peace in my marriage, peace in my home, peace in my work, peace in all I do in Jesus' mighty name, and most importantly, Lord, peace in our nation in Jesus' mighty name. Then Jesus will not go to war in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, there shall not be outbreak of any form of diseases. We say no to disease in Jesus' mighty name. That sickness, this area, we say no to your spread in the mighty name of Jesus. No to the spread of unnatural sickness in our land in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for that peace in this land, peace in all our going and our coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Quickly, we open our Bible to 2 Chronicles 13, that is from verse 2. It's a month of um, sure covenant. 
and I welcome you to the month of short covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's also a month of our anniversary. This month, all of us as a group and as individual family and individual person, God will give you reason to celebrate in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We now let's celebrate as a group on 14 of um, August when we be six years old. We now let's celebrate on 12 when we are trusting God to celebrate all our good children. Minister to them. I've thought before that this time around we are inviting the children to the church and to bless them. In the past, they go to homes, and most times those homes, we are not given much chance to speak to the children. We only go to our gate and pray for them. We are not given much chance to, to minister to them. But this time around, by God's grace, we'll be ministering to them, and uh, we also be giving them things as the Lord bless us. Things are already coming in. God bless you for setting your own part in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, as many that are still trusting God for theirs, God will provide in Jesus' mighty name. So we are trusting God to minister to those children, to bless them in God's name, and uh, to give a gift to them on 12th. Why on 14th we celebrate as a group? But the month as a whole, on 19th we bring the parents by God's grace to minister to them in their homes and their marriages. We have, we have plans and an idea for all these things. Be praying for us this month, a month of uh, having to have many things that we are doing. And I trust in God will see us through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But more importantly, for you and for me, it's a month of sure covenant. It's sure because it cannot fail. It's sure because it cannot change. It's sure because it is irrevocable. It's sure because God is involved. And our God is a God of covenant. And therefore, this month, we must all walk with the consciousness of a covenant career. And that's the first thing we're discussing this month. Our big event begin by Monday by God's grace. Please join us Monday morning by 5 a.m. for the big event. Please don't forget and help us to tell as many that are not online now that our big event begin Monday morning by 5 a.m. What the money we use to buy that heaven we provide in Jesus' mighty name. And if for anything is as if it's not uh, coming, please, as much as possible, get in touch with me. The group can support wherever we can. There's no shame about that, and there's no crime about that. It's a Money and we are using it for ourselves. So please, whatever, whatever we can help as a group, we gladly want to that all of us is a little bit of us are involved in the in the meeting. So please, wherever you can, however you can, if you can, please get involved with us in the in the big event. And heaven will bless you as we do so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So therefore, it's a month of um, of a of a short covenant for us, and it must work in the cautiousness of that covenant. If you are not conscious of the covenant, the Bible says a son is not different from a servant. As long as the son has not realized he's a son, a prince is not different from the servant in the palace. As long as the prince is still playing ball, running around naked with the servant in the house, he doesn't even know that he's the king. But as soon as the son realizes that I'm the prince and soon be the king of the kingdom, he begins to separate himself. He will respect the servant for who they are, but he will, he will put himself in a position of a prince and carry himself in a princely manner. But a prince that I have not realized is a prince will not carry himself in a princely manner, and nobody will respect him. That's how it is in the spiritual realm. We are covenant carrier, and if we don't have the consciousness of those covenants, they don't work for us sometimes, or they work halfway, they don't go far. But when you have the consciousness that you are a covenant carrier, there's a way it boosts your faith. There's a way it boosts your confidence. There's a way it boosts your burden. The Bible says the righteous they are as bold as lion. There's a way it boosts your trust in God. And you know, you believe that what you have asked of him, he will do for you. And that's a way it make you to be strong in faith, strong in your mind, so much that you don't have a room for fear because you know that God we surely attend to you. It's a God that keep covenant. That's why it is called a covenant keep. That's why it's called a covenant keeping God. And if we have a covenant giving God, then we too must be a covenant carrier in the sense that we must be conscious of the covenant we bear. The Bible say they that know their God, know that word, they know that they have a God and they know what their God can do. And they know the promises and the covenant of their God. They that know their God, they are the only one that will do exploits. 
Many people may serve in the same God, but they won't do exploit, they won't do much because they don't know him. But they that know their God, know as in they have a knowledge, a know that give them an edge. They have a knowledge of what God can do by his covenant. And therefore, they abide by that covenant. And because they believe and by that covenant, there is no way they will not have victory in all they do. This is very important. If you are praying for healing and you don't have the consciousness that God say by his strap, I will heal you. And you believe because you are praying, you have healed. Then you may not have experienced it. If you are praying, whatever you are, if you are praying for promotion and you forgot to remember that, that your God has your God has told you that that uh, every good thing and a perfect thing come from God. And when they say that's cast it down, I will say that's lifting up. So it doesn't matter how many cry people are crying out there. For me, I'll be up only. You believe that and you are walking by it. You that doesn't mean you saw you have seen the answer. But Jesus Christ said, Blessed are those that believe, even when they have not seen, when they have not experienced it, since I've not seen around them, but they believe they have received it. They can cry the baby in their hand and be dancing in their house and say, Baby, how are you? And they are petting the baby. If they are even though physically speaking, it's on their hand. But they believe God, they trust God. They name the baby and call them by their name. The Bible says they call those things that we are not as though they were. They know the promotion is already in their hand and they carry themselves like the status of the next promotions and say, I know I'm not where I am now. I am where God has placed me. And they go with that consciousness. For it's true, God will arise on their behalf. You can be proud of your father, conscious of his promises, and if not arise on your behalf, it's not possible. So that is the consciousness you should bear this month. And to tell yourself, I'm a covenant carrier in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will walk in the consciousness of the covenant in Jesus' mighty name. Say it again, I'm a covenant carrier in Jesus' mighty name. And I will walk in the consciousness of that covenant in Jesus' mighty name. And that will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. So you must walk in the consciousness of that covenant. You must live by it. You must, uh, it's like uh, it's, it's to be your water you drink, your food you eat. You consciously remind yourself of what God has said. When you experience, just, just for example now, you are experiencing pain and something is telling you, uh, don't worry, this thing might likely kill you. You tell yourself that my covenant with death has been disannulled. So the pain just there, it will go. It came in one day, it will go out one day. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. And the end is not in death. Because it's written, my agreement with death, I'll be designed now. And my covenant with the grave, with hell, cannot stand. So when you say that, the devil can have no shelter to leave you alone. That's how to move with the consciousness of a covenant career. You have a very bad dream that you don't like. You wake up in the morning and you say, I don't live my life by dream. I live my life by the word of God. Because dream fade. Dream come and start and go. Dream begin and end. But the word of God, the Bible says it's established in heaven. Never begin, never had no beginning, now no one ending. It's live forevermore. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is a war, he never die. He never so dream and only my life by dream. So that dream that you came, the way you came, the more the way you go. So therefore, by the strength of the word of God, whatever's in that dream that's not of God for me, I cancel, I disannul. And so it is. That's the consciousness of a covenant carrier. That's how we should live our life this month and for the rest of our year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Second Chronicle 2, verse 10 to see a man dead out of consciousness that is fighting a war that is beyond him and how God helped him. Second Chronicle 13, verse 2. He reigned three years in that in that um, Abijah, the son of um, of the grandson of um, great grandson of David. Abijah reigned over Judah. In, in Jerusalem for three years. His mother's name was Mansha, the daughter of Uriah of Gibeah, and there was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. Abijah was the king of Judah. Jeroboam was king of Israel, the upper Israel, after the division. But the house of David was working with the covenant of God, David, by Abijah, that's Abijah. But that kingdom was into idolatry. Now, Abijah said the battle in Ari with an army of valiant men of war even 400,000 men. And Jeroboam also said the battle in array against him, 800,000 men. They, they outnumbered them by all standard. 
and by all means, the word battle was against them. And verse, um, let's see verse 4, and Abijah stood up upon Mount Zemera, Mount Zemirim, which is Mount Ephraim, and said, Hear me, thou Jeroboam, and all Israel. Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his son by a covenant of sons? That's a man that walked by covenant. That's a man that's a covenant carrier. He was a man his enemy that was a fight war against him. By all standard, he was outnumbered. Four against eight. That's two against one person. He was outnumbered by all means, both by number of men and by ministry minds, by equipment, he was at number. But it went pretty sure that I'm a covenant keeping God. I don't work with number. God doesn't work with number. It's not a God of majority. It's not a democratic God. It's a God of heaven and earth. Doesn't work by say number by number, say the majority carry the vote. With God, majority don't actually carry the vote. And therefore, he said that don't do, or are you not supposed to know that I am an Abijah, the son of David, and with us is a covenant of sorts. Sometimes we need to tell the sickness that you are just playing game. Don't you remember I have a covenant career and it's concerning me that he will send me cure and healing? Don't you remember the say concerning me by a shrub I am healed? So it doesn't matter what game you are playing, you cannot win this battle sickness. You must tell devil that sometimes that sometime. devil is telling you that you are going to die. You remind him not to see in Isaiah 26, verse 7, 18, that just read, that he said that my covenant with death will be disannulled, and every agreement I have with uh, hell, with grave, either consciously or not, I, I destroy. Don't you see that one in your Bible? In your own Bible. They, they, they say demon, demon, no Bible. Don't you see that one in your, your, your own Bible? Because they have Bible, they know Bible. So you remind them what the Bible has said. You move the consciousness of the covenant you carry. Let's see verse 8. And now you think to withstand the kingdom of the law in the hand of the son of David. He was telling his enemy that he want to withstand the covenant. The kingdom will receive a covenant from God for the hand of the sons of David. And ye be a great multitude. You can see now they are at number. And they are with you, golden cars, which the Reban has made for God. They don't have God in their midst. That man threatening you he doesn't have God with him. That sickness is not of God. God never inflicts people with sickness. Therefore, whatever sickness may be, diseases or pain, they are never from God. That was Jeroboam. Abijah was telling Jeroboam, you are not with God. You are, you are not idolaters. So no matter the, the dreams that is not of God, that accident, that calamity, that death, that dream that is terrifying, as terrifying may be, as long as it is not of God, it cannot stand. That is the truth, and that is the faith and the belief of the covenant carrier. He said, as men that know their God, they shall do exploits. They shall be strong. Not just do exploit. They shall follow up be strong. Then they shall do exploit. They are strong in faith, strong in mind, strong in heart. They are courageous. In the midst of fear, they stand their ground. Like that man that stood in yeah, the, the, the parcel of ground that they plant the dark crop, the crisis, they call it so. And that they only him at a point one man killed 300 men, like they are giants. And at that time, one killed 800, only one single man. He stood his ground. If you like, come against me in thousands. But this ground, I will not shift. And they never sink. The name of Jesus Christ, the covenant, the belief, the faith we have in him, as men that are strong like that, they cannot be disgraced. Many times we get too, fid too fidgeting, we get too afraid, we get too carried away so soon, we get too carried over so soon. We are very soon, we are already afraid. Ah, maybe I will die now. Ah, maybe this is your dream may come to pass. Who oh, told do the dream will come to pass? It's not a dream. It will fade away, it has faded away. But the word of God never fades away. Once you put your trust in Him and you are on the, God, the side of God, then you have no reason to be afraid. Look at verse 10, what that Ahijah told that king. Verse 8 say, but as for us, as for me, as for you, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. And the praise, the minister of the, the, the Lord, and the son of Aaron, 
and the Levites that wait upon him in their businesses. So we have not forsaken our God. Our God is with us. As long as you have faith, God is with you. As long as you believe, you trust him for his word. God is with us. As for us, the Lord is with us. And we are not forsaking him. Either in our thought, either in our behavior, either by seeking for help. We are, there are no helps. Please don't forsake him. Trust him, believe him. If you must seek for help, seek for help where there is God. Be careful of the hill or the mountain you visit. Don't go to a place where God is not. Or else you might be forsaking the covenant to where there is no covenant. Verse 11. And this are God. We born incense to him every morning and every evening. Sweet incense. They show bread are set in the order upon the poor table and the candlestick of gold on the lamp. And we born incense to him every evening, every morning. For we keep the charge of the law, our God, but ye have forsaken him. That's the covenant. As long as we do our part, prayer, we are praying. We don't miss the fellowship with the brethren. We come and learn together. We are still doing our part. As long as we believe in and we are doing our part, trusting him, not forsaking him, not throwing our Bible away, not throwing confidence away, not throwing faith away, not throwing belief in God away, our uh, God is a covenant keeping God. And verse 2 says, And behold, the God himself is with us. Say to yourself, God himself is with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. For our captain, God is with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, For my captain, God is with me in Jesus' mighty name. He never abandoned me. He never leave me alone. Either in my consciousness is with me. Either in my subconsciousness is with me. Either in my dream, is with me. Whatever thing I find myself, God is with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the man declared, God is with us. Please, brethren, know that for sure. God never gives covenant and abandonment. If you believe God for his promise, for his word, in this month of sure covenant, he will never fail. You will never fail. This man in the face of the battle, battle is still there. He has not gone away. The armies that are not by him are still at his face, but was declaring consciously what he believed. The Bible says with the heart, man believes, but with the mouth, confession must be made. That's the problem he has sometimes. Not that sometimes not that we don't believe actually that by his tribe we are here. Sometimes not that we don't believe actually that the covenant and the agreement with death has been disannulled. Sometimes, not that we don't believe that dreams are nothing, but the word of God are eternal. Sometimes, not that we don't believe that our God has gone ahead of us and is our Savior to help us. Sometimes, our problem is not believing. Our problem is confessing. That we should believe. And a true covenant courier must confess that which he believe. And that's one thing that is happening. Let us, let us speak as men, huh? Look at the Jews, anywhere they are. They know they are Jews. They believe they are Jews. They don't mean good and other people. And God is fighting their battle. Look at the Americans. Anywhere they go to, they say they are American. They, they boldly declare I am Americans, even in the midst of their enemies. Because they know that once we hear that I am Americans, we'll be afraid of them. That's the truth. And that's why if an American is anywhere, 24 hours, they don't hide from him from home as a nation. They will look, start looking for him. That's American, they go to any hole, anywhere, no matter how dangerous the place they will go, because they know that 24 hours, if they didn't hear from me, they will look for me. Now, if human beings can be that conscious of their nation, why can't we be the same conscious of our God? He said, I know God is with me. So, with the heart, man believes, but with the mouth, confession must be made, even in the face of the difficulties. That doesn't mean the problem is not there. That doesn't mean the devil has gone away, but we consciously confess that we should believe. That's where the victory is, the confession. And said, behold, he say, our God is with us, even in the face of his enemy. And uh, verse 13, but Jeroboam, despite all the things Ahijah is saying, just talking, Jeroboam was not even hearing it because he doesn't believe what he's saying. And Jeroboam caused an abushment to come about and behind Judah. And that abushment was behind them. And Judah looked back, and behold, the battle was before, and the battle was behind. 
and they cry unto the Lord. Look at them. The king was preaching to them, and the battle was coming from behind, come from 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 before. Ordinarily, they should be afraid. You are preaching. Why should be fighting? Is preaching? Is God going to fight for us physically? But the man knew his God, and was telling them what he knew. And the battle was from behind and from before because the people took belief their the king and they believe what he was saying and they had their trust in god the bible now said that place that they cry unto him despite the trouble they find themselves the priest too sounded their trumpet and then by 15 then the men of judah gave a shout i will give out of victory in jesus mighty name say to yourself i will give out of victory in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah shall be my son this month in jesus mighty name Every moment I will say amen. Every moment I will say hallelujah. That shall be my continuous shouting this month in the mighty name of Jesus. In the month of covenant, this short month of short, short, short covenant, or this month of short covenant, I shall continually say hallelujah, say amen in the mighty name of Jesus. I will continually say Jesus' name, Jesus' blood to me, with me shall be shot of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. They didn't know what to do, so they shouted. Shouted to God. Sometimes you don't know what to say. Brethren, just say amen. Sometimes you don't know what to say. Just say hallelujah. People already may not understand what you are, what is going on in your mind, in your heart. We all say amen. Hallelujah. Somebody might even ask you, what is amen? What's hallelujah? You just say, I just shouted hallelujah for, for victory. They may not understand the battle within, but you know what you are going through. And when you see the road is not clear, you say amen. You say hallelujah. You say Jesus' name. You say blood of Jesus. You shouted the shout of victory. And you see the God of covenant coming on your behalf in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 15, and the men of Judah gave a shout. And as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote, God arose on their behalf. God smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Judah, Jehovah Abijah, and Judah. Let God arise. Let the enemy be scattered. They that trust him. They that they that they that they that they that um, which will against them, let them be destroyed before him. God will only arise when we shouted, when we said, when we bring forth our confessions and we bring forth the word of victory. And then God will arrive. Verse 18, though the children of Israel were brought down at that time under the children of Judah, and children of Judah prevail because they rely upon the law. God or their fathers. You can't believe God and rely on him and say, I believe in the mighty name of Jesus. As I believe, I confess in Jesus' mighty name. I believe in the mighty name of Jesus. As I believe, I confess and I shout hallelujah in Jesus' mighty name. I believe and I confess and I say amen. When I don't know what else to say, I will say amen in the mighty name of Jesus. When I don't know what else to say, I will say hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. When I pray all the prayer and I don't know what to say again, I will say Jesus' name in Jesus' mighty name. I will shout the blood of Jesus Christ in the face of my fear in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And they have victory. And verse 19, the Bible says, Then that Jeroboam recovered strength again in the days of Ahijah. And the Lord struck him and he died. Every area where you are looking for victory, God will arise Amen. to strike down all your troubles and your enemy, that your victory will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say it again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I believe and I confess it in my mouth. That which I believe in my heart this year, this month, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a month of sure covenant for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe in the covenant. I believe in the word of God that never fail, that never falter. And as I believe, I confess in Jesus' name. And as I confess, I will have victory in Jesus' mighty name. As I confess, I will have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. This month, this month of August 2023, I believe it in my own heart. The Bible says with the heart, man believe. And therefore, I believe in my heart. And with the mouth, confession is made. I confess victory in my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. I confess I am not barren. I confess I am not sickly. I confess I can have no business with death. I confess I have no business with sickness. I confess I have no part with calamity this month. I confess I have no part with, uh, with uh, difficulty in economy or of poverty. I confess starvation and hunger 
we have no place in my home. The Bible says, I've been young, now I'm old. I've never seen the rush of forsaking, nor is he begging bread. I will not beg for bread. This month, for this year, in this government, I will not beg for bread. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will have victory and victory alone in Jesus' mighty name. I believe the word of God that I am here. Therefore, I am here. I believe the word of God. I say, I'm a mother of children. Therefore, I'm a mother of children. I believe, it's Abraham, you are a father of nation. I am an Abraham, a seed of Abraham. I'm a father of nation in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe and I confess in my mouth that I have victory in Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. It is written, I will send you cure. I have cure in my body for all sicknesses in Jesus' mighty name. It says, I will send you healing and hurt. I have healing everywhere, I need healing. And I may hold, I have hurt in Jesus' mighty name. I believe, I will live, therefore I will live. I have the covenant of life, and therefore I have life. I have the covenant of peace, and therefore I have peace. I have mercy of God, I have received mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe and I confess in my heart, in Jesus, in my mouth, in Jesus' name. I believe and I confess, and as I confess, I shout victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray this last prayer. This month of August shall be a month of victory for me as I declare the shout of victory. And I will give you the secret of the shout of victory. Amen. I do that very often. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Sometimes things just happen and you don't have to answer to. You don't have to have answer to them because it's not your business. The one that has answer to all things is God. Jesus Christ. I want to say Jesus' name. Just say Jesus, Jesus Christ, for no reasons, humanly speaking. And that is victory. Say, blood of Jesus Christ, you have victory. There's a fear in your mind. Just say, blood of Jesus Christ, the fear is gone. You don't know what to say, just say amen. Amen comprises all things, because amen is his name. Amen. Say hallelujah when you don't have reason for it, because you are evoking victory. These are times are words of victory. Invoke them from time to time. Don't say it in your heart. Save it to your mouth with the heart, man believe. With the, with the heart, man, with man believe. But with the mouth, confession must be made to victory, to salvation, to deliverance. Amen. Please let the scripture be constantly be fulfilled in our lives. So just say amen when you don't have other things to say. Say hallelujah. Once you believe in your heart and your mouth say it out, it is done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say to yourself this month of August in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not lack the word of victory in my mouth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My word of victory. Hallelujah. My word of victory. Jesus' name. My word of victory. The blood of Jesus Christ is my word of victory in the mouth of in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God, as I quote and declare from time to time, they are my word of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I will remember my, remember my enemy. I will to see that he said, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemy be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I will continually say it in Jesus' mighty name. I will not lack the word of victory this month of August in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It will not be scattered in my mouth. Hallelujah. It will not be scattered in my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ will not be scattered in my mouth. Either in my dream or my consciousness. Amen. The word of Jesus Christ will not be scattered in my mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, will not be cast in my mouth. In this month of August, either I'm conscious or I'm not conscious, either I'm moving or I'm not moving, either I'm sleeping or I'm weak, the word of God, that is sickness on the head, I will not lack the word of God in my mouth, which is the sword of the spirit. spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Is my power. Amen, he's my son. With him I have victory in prayer. Amen, he's my soul. Amen, he's my power. Amen, he's my song. With him I have victory in prayer. Amen, he's my soul. Now hear this. Whenever I say amen, amen, please listen to me. I say here, now hear this. I'm not talking to you as a person. No. I'm talking to the spirit behind me that doesn't that does not obey God. I, I'm talking to them. So when you say that one yourself, you say, now nah, hear this. The people are you thinking they're talking to you to them, but you know who you are talking to. 
to that circumstance, to that situation around you. Now, hear this. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, demon tremble and glorify. Amen is my say. Now, hear this again. Whenever I say amen, oh, in the name above all names, demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. You can make that song a song of victory for the months. Maybe you don't know what to say. You have said amen, you don't know what to say. And you look at maybe you look at the environment you are. Just begin to sing that song. That song comprises everything. And that name that's above all name above for you this month in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As you believe it's your mind, it's your heart. Amen. And you confess the name of Jesus Christ. Confess his blood. Confess his word. Confess amen. Confess hallelujah. In your mouth this month. The sure victory in the sure covenant with the God of covenant shall be yours and mine this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I release to victory this month in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You have victory about. Amen. You will not fear death. Amen. You will not fear calamity. Amen. You have no reason for any fear in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we declare the word of God concerning you, God will make you mother of children, Amen. father of nations, Amen. victory run about. Amen. He will keep your children, Amen. keep your home, keep Amen. you healthy in Jesus' mighty name. If I might pray for us again, that high is here in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And everyone is praying one form of sickness or another. Either in the leg or in the hand, the back, wherever it may be, in the tummy, in the head, in the brain, mental issues, emotional issues, whatever it is, it is written by Israel, you are healed. Amen. Now you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Go in this mind and have victory for the rest of the month in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pray for him on Monday, please join us and God bless you. Don't forget our children. Whatever you have in your hand to give them, please, you can send yours as you uh, do our best in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. The meeting is over. And then, um, I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of strong as the wise as Solomon, joint here with Jesus, ever hold my band. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine a face upon you Amen. and be gracious towards you. Amen. I say it again. May God shine a face upon you in this month of August Amen. and be gracious towards you. Amen. And may God lift up his countenance, the entire light of heaven upon you. Amen. You will not walk in darkness this month. Amen. I say it again, that physically or spiritually, you will not walk in darkness Amen. this month of August in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God will give you peace Amen. in the day you have peace, Amen. in the night you have peace, Amen. in your dream, in your sleep you have peace. Amen. Peace and about you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Heaven will give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And above all, God will put his name upon you and upon your children Amen. and will bless you both in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In this prayer meeting, praying, praying, prayer group and the church, first family church, God of heaven. It be our light this month in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And we are sure of him. We walk in the consciousness of a covenant career. That our God, the covenant keeping God, like Ahijah, as we believe in and we walk in that consciousness, victory is ours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This month, amen will not cast in your mouth. Amen. I will not cast in your mouth. Amen. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will not cast in your mouth. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ will not cast in your mouth. Amen. And the song of victory, amen, is my power. Once we sing it, anytime and anywhere, victory is yours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Again, I must tell you again, if you are not here when we began, if your child is below 10 years old and is going on holiday, make sure it's an holiday where yourself you are. Not with grandma, not with grandpa, not with anybody, not with uncle, not with anybody. If you are not there, don't let the child go for holiday in a place where you are not in this period. I pray as you obey, God will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All our children will be safe and preserved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is over. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent, 
God bless you for taking your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name.